Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial by It's So Kelly. My name is Kelly Ra and I'm going to show you today a, a fun, a different way of importing your PDF uh, patterns into the Cricut Design space. Now some uh, interesting points, different designers use different software to create their PDF patterns. Um, some will uh, include what's called uh, curves, some will use just basic shapes. Everyone is going to be different and those differences will result in different results for you when you import them into Cricut. I have been doing this now for a couple of weeks and I have had about a 90% success rate at getting all the files that I want to work with into Cricut. So only a few have been troublesome and even when I say that, in theory, these pattern pieces that are designed for print to PDF, they're not meant for uh, SVG. And so I have no critique of the designer whatsoever, uh, but I'm just here to show you how to maybe simplify, simplify how you can use uh, these pattern pieces in Cricut, especially if you plan to cut them uh, more often than just once. So I personally, I, anything that has a curved edge like this file here, I like it in Cricut. It's, it always gives you a, a perfect edge. Um, I don't cut perfectly and uh, it's just fun. So, all right, so you're going to need a few things. First of all, you're going to need this file and also a secondary file that I've created for you. It'll be available to you in the group files or I'll provide a, a download link at a later time. And you're going to need a free account to what's called cloudconvert.com. Again, you can have with that free account, you get 25 different conversions per day, which is way more than enough. And you'll also need to have your Cricut Design Space desktop application handy. So this tutorial is based on using a PC desktop. Um, so you'll have to know the commands from Mac, but I'm sure that will not be hard for you. And we're not gonna do this on the iPad. So again, um, those might be different nuances for those programs and those different applications, but for now, PC desktop. So we are going to now go ahead and have these two PDFs that I have provided to you and have them available to you on your desktop. And we're going to open the first one, which is Kelly A in Cloud, in the Cloud Convert. Okay, so close out of here, out of here, and we'll open up our Cloud Convert. And we're gonna hit Select File, Browse to where you have saved it, and it's test file A. Open. You're going to convert it to a vector and SVG. And you're going to hit convert. When it's ready, it will show you its conversion. And you are going to go ahead and click the download button here. And you may have different ways to get your download file for me. I have to go to my download folder and get it from there. So I'm going to close out of here. I'll minimize this window. Go to here. And go to our downloads. And we're going to download test file A to our desktop. Like so. Now you're going to open up your open up Cricut and you're going to upload the file that you've just converted. It'll be on your desktop. Upload. Yes. Yes. SVG test file A. Okay. It's going to tell you that it doesn't support text. You're going to like yes. Go ahead and continue. This is a good, this is a good warning. I'll show you why, okay? So now we'll go ahead and click Upload. Click on the file once and hit Add to Canvas. What's nice is, we'll go ahead and click on this image of this group here and ungroup it. We have the three pieces that we need. We don't need anything else. We don't need all that text that gibberish, if you will, and if we take these apart, I'll show you that this piece, and if you refer back to the pattern piece, is the correct size. It's five by six. Perfect. 
click on this little image is also the correct size, 4.25, 5.5, and most importantly, this is our one inch square. So actually, I should have shown you this first. This one inch square assures us that these images here are the correct size. So there's nothing to worry about, nothing to resize, not a lot of editing to do. So we're gonna go ahead and delete the one inch box. Now, I'm going to show you, because we can't, cannot cut on Cricut on the fold, we're going to duplicate this image. Right click, wherever you wish to do it. Duplicate it, bring it over here. We're going to flip it horizontally. Let's change the color so we can see what we're working with. Doesn't matter the color. And we're going to just kind of bring them close by, as close as possible. Line them up. You may want to just zoom in a little bit so you can see if you're close enough. There shouldn't be a gap. And then you can go ahead and just bring them together. If you see up here that it says 10 inches like it does, that means that we have, it's, it's perfect. So just go ahead and now we're going to hit line top. And now you can see it is 10 by six, which is the correct size of our pattern piece. And since we have them both selected, we can come over here in the bottom right and click the weld button. That makes them all one big happy family. We can reduce our screen size here. So this piece now is the exact accurate size as our pattern piece that we had in the PDF. Okay, and let's just make it a little bit less black. Okay, now we have this piece to work with. And this piece is our zipper window. Well, we know that it should be twice the width, so it should be eight and a half, and that the height is correct. So we're gonna turn off the little lock box here, and we're gonna come up here and change the width to 8.5. It's now the correct width. Okay, now the next thing is we're going to take our pattern piece and we're going to put it in the X and Y coordinates so that they are zero, zero. So that they are perfectly in the corner of the, of the uh, canvas. And we're going to bring our little zipper window piece thingy here. We're going to bring it up here so that we can see it. We use the arrange and have it send to the front like so. And we're going to select both of these images. I like to drag select. You can do it through the, over here if you want. And we're going to hit a line, center horizontally. That ensures that it's even on both sides here. And now we're going to make sure that it's in the right position going down. So we collect, select this little, just a zipper window itself. And we're going to come over here to the Y and change that position to 1.75. Make sure you get the point in there, 1.75, and hit enter. Okay, so this is your pattern piece that you printed out, only now it's been uh, duplicated on the right. And the last step is to select all. We're going to hit slice, give it a chance to render. And now we can pull this piece away. Get rid of these little pieces here, if you don't need them. And you are ready to rock and roll. This is your perfect pattern piece that you uploaded through the PDF, you converted it to an SVG, you made a few simple, simple edits, and you have a perfect piece for your pattern. And it's super nice, like I said, because if you want to do uh, multiple cuts, and they're always exact, and those little cutting out these window boxes, I really like doing it on the Cricut because they just turn out so much nicer too. So that is the first part of our tutorial. Take a break, take some notes if you need to, and then we're going to come back to part two. Part two is a little bit more complex, but still equally interesting, and uh, you'll be a pro with this in no time. So come right back. And so now we're back to the Cloud Convert and we're going to upload our test file B. So go ahead and click on Add More Files. Browse to your folder. It remembers our last one here, so we'll do B. Gonna, it remembers your settings as well, so SVG is awesome. Click Convert. And 
you'll see now, even though this is a test file B, it looks identical. But the difference is, is, and I will show you again, is that all of the text has been converted to curves. And so all of this text is going to appear in Cricut Design Space. And you'll find this is very common with a lot of designers and uh, it's okay, we can deal with it. So hit download. We're gonna go ahead and exit this window. I'm done with this window. I'm going to go to my download folder and get the file to my desktop. Ever so slowly. This is test file B to our desktop. Okay. And we're going to open up our Cricut. And we're going to do as we did before. We're going to upload this time test file B. Now this time, Cricut is going to say, ah, that's a lot of stuff. Are you sure? And just let it do its thing. It's just fine. But you'll see all of the text is there now. Okay? So we're going to hit upload. Click on it once and add to your canvas. So what I have learned in my geeky days in these past couple of weeks is that when the text is converted and there are uh, image, images or text outside of the pattern piece, it will distort or uh, make the pattern pieces not the correct size. But it's okay. We can handle it. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove all of the extraneous text that we don't need. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ungroup this. And what we want to do is we want to pull away the big pieces that we need. We, that's not, not always as easy as it seems, but we can do it. So first we want to click this big piece. Call it a big piece, baby. Click this pattern piece over here, over here. And we want this piece. This is our zipper window. You can click on this size and you can see if you've got it or if you've got some underlying text. Okay. And the last one we want is this little one inch box. Not one inch yet. And we're going to pull it aside. What you're going to end up sometimes is getting some of the text. So just be patient and try to get the box and not get the little text that's in there. And sometimes you get lucky and you get it right away. Sometimes you don't. You can also get it through the, um, over here in this area and the layers. Um, I'm just going to keep on doing it to show you that even though I have to do things sometimes twice and thrice. Okay. So, wasn't well, so bad. It took us four tries to get a box. Okay. The rest of all this we do not need, so we're just going to use our mouse click. We're going to select all of that stuff. And we're going to hit delete. Okay. Now, for the fun part. This, to me, is fun, but you know me. I'm geeky. We're going to take our pattern piece over here, which is not to size. And we're going to take our one-inch box, which is not to size. And we're going to select both of these and group them. Okay. And now you're going to hide the larger pattern piece over here. This piece you're going to select and you're going to change in the size to one inch. And click tab it over. And it'll change that to one inch as well. So now you have a correct one inch box and because you have a group with the other pattern piece, you can go ahead and view this one now. This pattern piece will go ungroup. This pattern piece is now correctly five by six. Look at you go! Okay, we don't need this one inch box anymore and we don't need it for this zipper window box because that's just too simple to go to all that trouble. Okay, so here's our first piece here. Now, the next thing is we have two. We know already know how to duplicate it. I'll go ahead and show you one more time. So just right click on it or however you do it in the Mac. Duplicate. Come over here and give it a different color so it's not so hard to look at. And we're going to flip it. Okay, remember, like we did before, we're going to join these two up as much as possible. 
it's off. And then you do be easy be 10 inches if it's not. You just too close. Sometimes you want to zoom in a little bit to get a better accuracy of how you're doing this alignment. So, okay. And then again, select them. Close. I got the first time was better, huh? Let's zoom in a little bit more. That's okay. These things take time. Okay. So just go a tiny bit more, tiny bit more over. So, and then select them both. Close. I know it's better. Select them both. Ten. Yay. Okay. So now that we know it's 10, or 10 inches, that's correct. We want to go align top. Now that they're correctly 10 by six per our pattern piece and they're still both selected, we're gonna hit the weld key, make them one big happy family. Let's change the color to something easier on our eyes. And now this step's a little bit different because last time this piece was the correct size but we know what it should be, so we're not, not going to have to go to all the trouble of using the one-inch box. We're simply going to unlock it. We're going to change the width to which should be, which is eight and a half, right? 8.5. And we know our height should be a half an inch, so we'll change the height. Make sure it's unlocked. Change the height to 0.5. 0 .5. Is that right? Yeah. And then come back here, make it a little bit smaller so everything's not so big. And this over here. Actually, the canvas got away from us. It happens sometimes. Cricket's a little bit buggy sometimes, but that's okay. Now, just like we did before, we're going to position our pattern piece in the X and Y position of zero and zero so that we can actually do a correct math. And then we're going to bring our zipper window on top so that we can see it. Let's arrange this to the front. Okay, and we're going to select both. I'm going to align horizontally, perfect on both sides. And now we're going to select the zipper window, change the position in the Y position to 1.75, hit enter. And just like before, select everything, hit the slice tool in the bottom right, let it render. And now you can pull away this piece. Delete these two pieces, and you have your perfect pattern piece. So that shows you basically there's two ways that a pattern piece can come into the uh, convert tool. You can come in as a, a regular file or as a file that's converted to curves. And ideally, it's the first one because then you don't have to mess around with all of the different uh, conversion of letters to different sizes. It will come into size, but if it comes in the other way. Now you know how to fix it. So I'm going to show you in the next tutorial, but not this one, how to import an actual pattern piece. And in the coming days, I'm going to show you how to upload uh, pieces that may need to use the contour tool. But for now, I think this is a very good start for you. And um, I look forward to seeing what you can do with the information you've learned today. So have a great day. Bye.